Hey guys, it's me, Malice, with this week's Crash Palisades Rundown. The weekly preview of what's new and what to expect in and around the Crash Palisades community and server. First up, Minecraft 1.2 is released on Thursday, but what is actually new? Well, here is a complete rundown of everything which is new in 1.2. That, that, that kind of rhymes. Well, first of all, there's a new jungle biome with new trees and new leaf blocks and everything. And they've also got their own saplings, so you can plant them yourself. If you stick down a single sapling, then you can make a mini tree, mini jungle tree. And if you put them down in a 2x2 grid like this, then you can make an entire full-blown massive jungle tree of awesome. There's also a new jungle-specific mob, which is the ocelot, which is basically a cat. You can tame them with fish, uh, you can tell them to sit, and they're also breedable with fish as well, and the kittens are ridiculously cute. It's also worth mentioning that wolves are also now breedable, and the wolf cubs are also pretty cute. All the mobs have now been moved over to a new AI system, so they've got a new pathfinding ability to start with, which means things like zombies and skeletons and stuff can't get lost in caves, they will come and they will find you, but also they don't get stuck behind blocks anymore, so you can't really lose a creeper by just hiding behind a tree for a second, it doesn't work anymore, they will come round and they will get you. They've also got better movement in water, so you can't lose them by just crossing over a river anymore either. There's a couple of mob-specific behaviours which have been added as well. Skeletons, for example, will seek shade during the day so they don't just sit there and burn. Creepers are afraid of ocelots. Zombies now knock through doors on hardcore and hard mode. And they will also siege villages. Yes, village sieges with zombies. It's awesome. Villagers, to compensate for this, have actually had an AI boost as well, finally. Uh, they will go inside at night and when it's raining. They'll also socialise with each other, which I, I kind of guess means that they just kind of stare at each other and nod their head a bit. But, thankfully, they do flee zombies, which is kind of useful in the middle of a siege. And they will detect new houses and repopulate villages when they lose people. So, not only can you add to a village now by building a house and sticking it on the end of a village, they will then move into it, but once they're killed by zombies, they will actually breed. Yes, you get mini Squidworths, like little mini one block high children which run stupidly quickly. Does kind of throw into question the biology of Minecraft considering all the villagers are male, but let's not go into that. Other than just running away and hiding, they do actually have a little bit of defense in their villages now, which is the Iron Golem. Brilliant thing, uh, it protects the villagers by throwing zombies and skeletons and spiders around the place, won't attack creepers. They will also hand out flowers to villagers to kind of signify their allegiance, I guess. They're pretty hardcore, they take 15 hits with a diamond sword to kill, which is kind of a bonus for you since they're craftable as well, just like a, uh, a snow golem if you stick two iron blocks on top of each other, then give it two arms of iron blocks as well, so it makes kind of a T-shape, and stick a pumpkin on top of that, then you've got yourself an iron golem, which is brilliant. There are also now rare mob drops. You may have seen the video that I put out a couple of weeks ago where I kind of demonstrated this with an XP grinder. Um, they have actually been made quite rare now, but what they are, zombies will now drop iron ingots or iron swords or iron helmet or an iron shovel. Uh, like I say, it's really rare, so don't get your hopes up on your first kill. Skeletons will drop bows or enchanted bows, but the chance of them dropping an enchanted bow is ridiculously low, even by rare mob drop standards. Like, ridiculously low. There are also new blocks and items. Redstone lamps with a single piece of glowstone and four bits of redstone around the outside. You can craft one of these bad boys. If you stick it down, whack in the power and turn it on, it'll work just like any other piece of redstone equipment. Nice and useful for lighting up stuff which once was dark. There's also a new fire charge that's made with blaze powder, a coal or a piece of charcoal and gunpowder. That'll make yourself three charges, which is pretty useless on its own, but whack it in a dispenser and you've got yourself a flamethrower. Kind of. There's also a new bottle of enchanting. It's only available in creative mode, but what it does if you stick it into a dispenser, then it'll basically just spit out free XP. So very useful for you adventured map makey type people. 
Stairs and slabs are now placeable upside down in the top half of a block, so you can decorate doorways and windows and stuff in a whole new way. It's going to be brilliant. New realms of crafting abilities. There's also a new circular stone brick. This is currently uncraftable and only available in creative mode, but still it looks pretty funky. And there are new interactions with various blocks as well. Vines are now climbable when there is a solid block behind them. Dispensers will actually place mobs from eggs rather than just kind of spitting the egg out, which was pretty useless. Double doors now also work with redstone, so you don't have to sit there and do all sorts of complicated wiring underneath to make them work. You can just stick down pressure plates underneath or besides, or just have switches, and they'll work. They they will work. Probably one of the biggest changes in the 1.2 update is the new world format, Anvil. Now this is what's allowing the 256 block world height, which quite frankly I can't express in words how awesome it is. So here's a big tower of TNT. This new world format also is allowing over 4,000 new block IDs. Just imagine all the new things that they can add to the game with 4,000 new block IDs. Amazing stuff. This world format will also save your biome details. That means that if you started a world in a desert world, uh, when there is a Minecraft update, it won't change suddenly to a snow biome for no apparent reason. It'll stay as a desert biome, which kind of makes sense, I guess. There's also been a plethora of changes to the language files, and so many, 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 many bug fixes, it, it's beyond belief. Remember, Crash Palisades won't be updating to 1.2 until Bucket and all of our plugins have updated as well, so if you do want to check out the new features in 1.2, make sure that you back up your Minecraft jar file first. Now, earlier in the week, Hate Gaming's Axel and Monkey started a survival walkthrough of the Crash Palisades server, showcasing some of the awesome builds that the community have made. So, here is a quick preview of that first episode. Hello, I'm Axel. And I'm Monkey. Yeah, busting through the tree. Like a boss. Like a boss. Tree hopper, like a Monkey. Yeah, you get it? Yeah. That was good. That was very nimble and agile of you. I'm, I'm impressed with your, you know, acrobatic grace or something. Ah, yes, this is where we're going. We're going to go see Lion XV's house. Damn right we are. Let's uh, make our way over there. Let's, uh, let's try and get over there all in the trees, eh? Yeah, oh, no, I can't get down there. Oh, my shins. Uh, Lion XV is uh, one of our very talented builders. He is very, very nifty with the uh, redstone. Somewhat of a pixel artist as well, as his his wife Scarlet Pixie. Thank you. Wow. That is very cool. Very cool. I like it. It's very nice up here. I love the uh, decorative use of torches up here, mm. and uh, the chandelier in the middle as well is very very cool. Definitely. I like all the different shades of like earthy browns and beiges. That's a hell of a view. Very impressive. That was Hate Me Gaming's Axel and Monkey's survival walkthrough of the Crash Palisades server. The full episode is available on the Hate Me Gaming channel, and the link will be at the end of this video and in the description below. Now, as I said before, Crash Palisades won't be updating to 1.2 just yet. But when it does, we are introducing a new world tier system. Now, this kind of sounds a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try and explain to you now how it's going to work with the use of fancy graphics. First of all, we're going to have a main overworld known currently as KP Alpha, or Crash Palisades Alpha. This will be the world that you join when you first join the server, so the first place that you spawn in. It's going to be generated in stages with the most recent updates for Minecraft. Uh, that will go up to a predefined limit. Once it reaches that limit, after however many updates, the alpha world will be moved down a tier to the beta world. Now, that's going to give people a chance to complete their old builds and give them a chance to make the move over to the new alpha world as well in their own time. The final world in this world tier system is the Crash Palisades Museum where complete and worthy builds 
are going to be moved and kept on the server for anybody to come and have a look at any time they like. Uh, once this world is filled up, we're not sure what's going to happen, whether we're just going to make a second one or whether we're going to take that one down and have it available for download, we don't know, but we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. Remember, if you're not currently a member of Crash Palisades, you can still log into the server and look around for yourself using the IP Crash, that's Crash with a K, dot Minecraft GSP dot com. That's going to be in the description below as well for the ease of copy pasting. If you would like to apply for build rights on the server, you can do so by registering at www.hate-me.co.uk and filling out the Crash Palisades application template in the Crash Palisades section on the forums. Join me next time for more Minecraft news and more Crash Palisades and Hate Me Gaming related news as well as any recent and future goings on on the server. Also be aware that next time there is going to be a special server event announcement. Oh yes. In the meantime, keep an eye on the websites, Twitter and of course the YouTube channel. That's it, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have any ideas for features of the next video, leave a comment in the description below. I've been Melis and I'll see you next time.